They're playing at St. Joseph. Describe to me the experience of playing for Gene Pingator. Uh, it's great. You learn new stuff every day, and then it's like you never can satisfy him, so he's always pushing you, so you never can satisfy him. So you know every day you got to go work hard and just try to make the team better, and then being the leader of the team, it's just it's a great challenge. You know, you guys have a strong alumni. You've had some great players over there. Do, do any of the guys ever come back uh, and, and talk to you guys about playing? Yeah, they come all the time. Then my brother's Demetri. He's at Illinois. Okay. And then I seen Evan probably two days ago. I talked to John and Tony Freeman and all them all the time. So it's just great. Then they come back and play in the open gym with us, and all, that always make us better. It, does, does you ever get nervous when Pingator starts getting all upset and everything? I, I, he scares the heck out of me when he starts screaming. No, not really. Everybody <laughs> says that when they're watching it, then it's like you get used to it because you with him every day and he's yelling in practice. So it's like that's his normal tone. That you get used to it. That's great. Let's talk about your game. Uh, describe your game for people who uh, come to the site and never seen you play before. What do you do? Uh, I distribute the ball, lead the team, and get everybody involved. And then. When, whatever the team needs me to do, I pretty much do it. I rebound, score, get assists, do everything most likely. When you come to a camp like this, what do you hope to take out of it for you to help benefit you? Uh, I try to take the new drills that they give you and try to work on it at home because it's never something you can't do at home. Yeah, take everything, don't try to take it for granted, just work hard. You know, I know the kids uh, is at St. Joe's, uh, Gene likes the guys with good character, also community ties, I think for you. Yeah, do you give back? Do you help out the younger kids? Do you enjoy that kind of thing at all? Yeah, I enjoy it pretty much very well. We're very grateful at school. Everybody that comes in and give us stuff and everybody that teach us stuff. We got Darrell Thomas, our assistant coach. He comes in, the assistant, and he don't get paid, and, and then he's there every day at practice, and we're very grateful for that because he didn't have to do it, and it's out of the kindness, kindness of his heart. So we're very thankful for everything they give us. Then off the court, he, he's always yelling at us for when we don't do stuff right, and if we're not acting right, right. he always wants us in our tie and shirt. And then if we don't come with a, if you come with the tie and then not without the shirt, he's always mad and come with the shirt and then your tie's a little to the left too much, he's yelling. So you always, you try to be perfect around him. You talk to me about, you see these kids out here, uh, how quickly can you start to break down the level of competition and feel comfortable? Uh, it's, it's a very talented group out here. Everybody else probably in Philadelphia with the main core. But this is not a bad group. Everybody's here working hard, most likely, and they're trying to, trying to get to college. So it should be a great day. Let me ask you, DeAndre, personal, what, what do you listen to on the iPod? What's getting you pumped up for a game? Uh, I listen to everything. Uh, mostly a little rap. Then I got to listen to a little rock to nice. get my system going. Then a little techno so I can go out and have all the energy I need. Nice. You got a pregame ritual or superstition you got to do? No, not really. Just focus. Then ping in the AU season, I listen to my iPod. Then for high school, ping all I listen to the music before the game, want us focus. So I pretty much look at the wall for about 30 minutes. <laughs> That's hilarious. Thanks, man. That's great.